I work with a number of small business and entrepreneurs who sort of attach this icky factor to the part of their business that is selling. And, you know, even people who are sales professionals, they, they sometimes can have a, a disdain for those stereotypical sales behaviors. And yet, when it comes time to sell, everybody, and I'm including everybody because I've seen it happen with even the very best of, of sellers and, and the smartest of business owners, that those behaviors sometimes emerge, the, the stereotypical behaviors. And when they do, buyers draw away and even the seller or business owner finds themselves pulling back. They, they know those behaviors are off-putting. So instead, if they can step into their roles as leaders and begin to lead buyers instead of selling to them, well, we know because we're, we're looking at research, we know that they, that's how you get results. And it's also how, how you feel better about those interactions with your buyers. All right. So nobody likes the pushy car salesman stereotype. And no offense to car salespeople out there, because I know we all drive cars and we all love them. So we need you. <laughs> but the reality is nobody likes that kind of pushiness. You're right. And, you know, immediately your your guard goes up and you, you understand what's going on. So how do you lead? Well, tell me what you mean by that. That sounds good. But like, how does it work? Yes. Well, Here's how it all came together. Maybe that will help. Um, I work in in these two spaces. I work in sales and I work in leadership. And I've done that for over a decade. And it occurred to me one day as I was going through a leadership training program, conducting it, um, I I use the leadership challenge, which is the evidence-based foundation of just about everything out there related to leadership. Jim Kuzis and Barry Posner, they've spent over 30 years researching the behaviors of leaders, that, and they know that there are 30 behaviors of exemplary leaders, and when they demonstrate those 30 behaviors, people more willingly follow them. So we're talking about behaviors that are enabling to others and inspiring to others and encouraging. When sellers adopt those behaviors, which was my aha, what if sellers adopted those behaviors? Uh, what we're now finding from our research with buyers is that, yes, buyers when they view sellers differently and when sellers are exhibiting leadership behaviors, it changes the entire relationship. 